Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hu. Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't um, recorded any video for quite a long time. Um, since the summer is coming, I would probably record more during the summer. So that, yeah, if you like, you could subscribe to my channel to um, expect some more videos to come up. Um, especially, I would like to record several videos about dissertations. So if you are one of the um, students, you don't have to be my students, who are preparing for your dissertation, you could listen up. In um, today's video, I would like to talk um, about a concept called empirical um, study or empirical research. This is based on a real conversation that I had um, with uh, students. It's not a student of mine. Um, this is a student from another university in the UK. Um, she came to me from um, Chinese social media called Red, which I also have a channel there. Um, so she came to me um, asking me about her own um, problem, not problem, but yeah thing which she's not sure about, about her dissertation. Um, so she decided to change her dissertation methodology from quantity methodology to quality methodology. Um, and her original title has uh, the word empirical in it. So it's like an empirical study of what? She asked me whether she has to change um, the word empirical something else because she thought empirical has to do with quantitative study. It has nothing to do with qualitative study. Qualitative study is not empirical study. And I was like, who taught you that? Um, well, I'm happy that she's not my student because otherwise I may be, I don't know, sad. Because, <laughs> um, um, well, it's, I don't think it's her tutor's problem, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what she was taught on that. But um, apparently she, doesn't know what's the difference between empirical studies, quantitative methodology, and quality methodology, you know, what's the relationship between those methodologies and the concept of empirical studies. So I think uh, in case anyone else um, doesn't know the um, relationship among those concepts, um, here we go, I have, I'm recording this video about it. Um, so apparently empirical study usually is a pair of concepts um, with library study or library-based study, okay? So library-based study, um, according to its name, it's quite obvious that you are going to do your study in the library. Of course, you don't have to be physically in the library because nowadays we can access library from um, anywhere as long as you have internet. Um, but it basically means that your research is not to do with any data. You are analyzing theories, um, primarily from, from a library, um, but it doesn't have to be from a library. As long as you can find theories from anywhere else, that's probably also fine, but it was um, called library-based research. And um, the opposite of it is empirical study or empirical based study. So empirical based study is any study that has um, to do with data. No matter the data is collected from you or you are using data from a secondary source, right? I'm sure you have heard about primary data and secondary data. No matter whether you are using primary data or secondary data or both, um, they can all be categorized within the domain of um, empirical studies. So um, back to the question that that student asked me, whether she can still use the word empirical studies once she has changed from quantitative methodology to quality methodology, well, it depends on whether she still um, plans to collect data or use data in her dissertation. If she does, yes, she can still use the word empirical in her dissertation title. So it will be an empirical study of yeah, her, 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 new, her new subject or her new uh, methodology. So yeah, here I just want to clarify that empirical does not associate with quantity methodology only. It comes up with quality methodology as well, as long as you use data. And the data is collected from you or the data is from somewhere else, um, categorized as secondary data. So it's all empirical study because you are using data to um, prove a theory or you're using data to um, theorize. Yeah, okay, that's either is fine. Right, this is a very short video about empirical study, um, and as time goes on, I plan to record um, other videos around dissertation. So if you want to know more about um, other things around dissertation, um, please subscribe. Okay, right. 